Today on Minus Studio, how to record simple videos onto your computer for free using OBS. Welcome to Minus Studio. My name is Nathan. With me as always is my tech director, Ronald. He's back there on the piano somewhere. Today we're gonna to talk about using OBS to record simple videos on your computer. So OBS is an open source broadcasting software. Uh, what that means is it's used to do live streams and, and video broadcasts. And it's, it's got a lot of options, but you can also use it to just simply create and record videos on your computer with a webcam or any other camera you have hooked up to your computer. So obviously the first thing you'll need to do is to download OBS. So you'll go to obsproject.com. You can see it there, OBS Studio. You can download it for Windows, Mac, or Linux. When you open up OBS, you'll probably see something like this. So this is OBS. I hate how this looks, so I'm gonna change the theme real quick. I know it's a little petty, but I just, I don't like this look. So if you go to File, or OBS, Preferences, and then right here you'll see Theme. I, I like a darker theme, so I'm gonna switch to Rockney. Doesn't change anything other than how the program looks. And you don't need to do that if you don't want to. All right, so looks a little complicated, but just recording a video isn't too difficult. First thing we're going to do is create a new profile and a new scene collection. And all that's doing is saving our settings so we don't have to touch them again next time we open OBS. So you go to profile, click new. We'll click sermon video. Let's say we're doing sermon videos. Then we'll do the same thing on scene collection. Scene collection, new, name it the same thing, sermon videos, and there we go. So whenever we open our program, if this is the only scene collection and profile, it'll automatically open. And these are just saving our settings. Profile, saving our general app settings, and scene collection is saving our specific um, scenes we make, which I'll explain more. So we've got that. Now let's make sure we have a few settings the way we need them. Again, this is all stuff you only do once, the very first time you open. After that, you won't really need to touch it at all. So on our first page, everything here is fine. This is where you would change that theme. If you don't like how the program looks, you can make it dark. Stream, you don't need to use for recording because that's just for live streaming, which we're not doing right now. Output, only thing you need to change here is down here where it says recording, you want to select the file type that you like using. I would usually suggest MP4. That's a pretty standard file, so click MP4. Don't worry about that warning. Or you can read it and worry about it if you really want to. Um, it'll be fine. And under video, we want to change this output scale resolution right there to 1920, 1080. So make sure this, where it says base canvas is 1080 and output scaled is 1920 by 1080, 1920 by 1080. They're both 1920 by 1080. That's just setting it so we have high definition video. Don't need to worry about anything else. Hit apply. Okay. And then you won't really need to touch those ever again. That's why we made the profile and scene collection in the beginning. So that was just a one time thing. Now we're gonna actually get into recording the videos. So what you need to worry about here is the scenes and sources and mixer on the bottom. So scene, we probably just need one scene. So we've got our one scene there. We can rename it if we want to, such as sermon video. All right, we've got our one scene. Now we're gonna move over to sources. These are the actual inputs coming into our computer, like our camera and our microphone. So to add a camera or microphone, you click this plus button at the bottom. And for a camera, you're gonna hit video capture device. So that will be where you find your webcam or whatever camera is hooked up to your computer. You can leave that or you can rename it camera one. And then bring up this properties box and we select from this drop down menu which camera we want. So I'm gonna use the, the FaceTime as my built-in Mac one. I also have other webcam hooked up. So I'm gonna select that webcam C920. There I am. Then I'm gonna unclick this use preset box and my resolution, I'm gonna to set to 1920 by 1080 so that it's full HD. 
And then this frame rate, I can just click over here and click 30. There I am. Okay. You can see it's not taking up the whole screen. It doesn't have to, you probably want it to. So we're gonna drag this corner out and make it snap to the full size screen. There we go. So we now have our camera. Don't have any audio yet, so we're gonna click this plus button on sources again and audio input capture. I'm gonna name that microphone. Then you can select from this drop down whichever microphone you're using. Uh, I have lots of microphones hooked up, so we'll just select the actual webcam microphone, which is probably what you'll use. Click OK. Okay. Now you can see there in our mixer, you can see my audio. Now talk at full volume, make sure you can see my audio is too loud. It's bumping up into the red there. See that little red there? So I'm going to take this volume slider right below it and turn it down until I don't get any red. Now I'm not really getting any red, just orange. That's good. Now our audio is set where we want it, and our video is set. And now you can record if you want to. This is all you need to do if you just want a simple recorded video, and you will not need to create new sources and stuff in the future. These are all saved under that scene selection, scene collection we made in the beginning. So when you open OBS next time, this exact same thing should come up, and you'll just have to hit record again. So when you're ready to record, you go to the side here, you see start streaming, start recording, two options. You obviously want to start recording. Start streaming is for live streaming online. You're just recording a file under your computer, so you hit start recording, do your thing, and then when you're done, hit stop recording, which will be the same button. That's all you need to do if you just want a simple camera on your screen like this. If you want to get fancy, you can add other sources to your scene, for instance, some text, or images or your computer screen. So just an example, I'm gonna add some text. So if I click this plus button on sources, that's what you'll click for adding anything to your scene. I'm gonna add text, free type two. I'm gonna say name. Then I'll bring up this text box. I'll type in maybe my pastor's name. How about pastor, oops, Nathan. And select font is where you select all the font and size and such. We'll pick that font. We'll make it bigger. We'll go 96. Okay. Okay. Look, we've got text right there. You can just grab it and move it around if you'd like. So now we have text on our video as well. And if you don't want that up the whole time or you have multiple things you want to bring in and out, there's a little eye symbol right next to each of your sources right here. If you click on that, it will hide that source. So the, my name, I can hide or show. I could do the same thing with the microphone's audio. I could do the same thing with the camera. Anything, any sources that are in your scene there, you can click that little hide or show icon and bring them in and out of the scene while you're recording. So same thing, maybe I have an image I wanna show. So click that plus button, then image. Same thing, name it, and then I'll browse for a file on my computer. All right, so here's an image I can add. Okay, you can see there it's gigantic. So I'll just resize it by moving it. Oops, that was my camera. That's not what I meant to select. Okay. Drag, drag, there we go. Accidentally made my camera too small. Now I have an image I can use as well. Make that a little smaller, move it up here. All right. So if I was uh, giving a talk and I wanted, had a point where I wanted to show an image, I could just hide it and then click that little eyeball to show it. I'm talking about it and then when I'm done with it, click the eyeball, hide it again. So that's how you can bring up other things on your screen as well. So those are just the basics. Um, not too difficult, I hope. Again, since we created the scene collection and profile at the beginning, after you create this the first time like we just did, it'll all be there again when you open it. So next time you wanna record, you can just open the OBS program and you should be all ready to go and just hit that start recording button. Hope this was helpful for you. I know we're all using a lot of tech we're not used to um, in our new online church world. So if you have any questions, uh, let me know in the comments. I will try my very best to answer them. Uh, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you back here soon.